the golf star's wife arrested after a domestic dispute. Krista Glover, wife of former U.S. champion Lucas Glover, called 911 claiming her mother-in-law attacked her, but now she is the one facing charges. ABC's Eva Pilgrim is here with the story. Good morning, Eva. Good morning, George. When police showed up, Krista Glover greeted them. Her husband, pro golfer Lucas Glover, telling them his wife had been drinking all day and the fight was the latest one about the same issue. The wife of PGA golfer Lucas Glover facing charges for allegedly physically attacking her husband for playing a bad round of golf and trying to blame the fight on his mother. I've been attacked by my mother-in-law. And here she locked herself into the room and she's attacked us. 36 year old Krista Glover making the initial call for help. When dispatchers called back, Lucas answered the phone telling a different story. This is the husband of the same one of the bunch. My wife has called you and now she's, she's trying to blame it on my mother, which is not the case at all. My wife has gone crazy. When officers arrived, they noted in a police report that Lucas had a cut to his right arm. His mother, 62-year-old Hershey Glover, had cuts on both of her arms and was hit in the chest. The fight occurring Sunday after a tough final day at the Players' Championship. Lucas Glover's tee shot has found the little pot bunker. According to the report, Lucas telling officers every time he plays a bad round of golf, Krista proceeds to start an altercation with him. The 2009 U.S. Open champ has been on the tour since 2001, earning more than $20 million in prize money. He married Krista in 2012. The couple has two kids. The court now barring Krista from contacting Lucas or his mother and ordering her to stay at least 500 feet away from their Jupiter, Florida home. Lucas Glover releasing a statement on Twitter saying, we are comfortable that the judicial system is able to address what actually happened and Krista will be cleared in this private matter. Now she was released on $2,500 bond is due back in court at the end of the month. She put out a statement saying, my family has been working through this very personal matter. Lucas and I are confident that we can put this behind us soon. But guys, this all happened on Mother's Day. Mm. Oh, wow. It's tough. Tough to watch. Tough. We hope mm -hmm. they figure it all yeah, out. Yeah, we do. All right, Eva, thank you so much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.